Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training, and today I'm going to talk about what my most successful clients have in common. So let's get started. So if you are not already following me on Instagram, please give me a follow at Gage Girl Training. You can check out other content. I also jump on Instagram Live. You can check out Insta Stories, see what I eat during the day. So you definitely want to be following me there. But yesterday, I had a consult with an online coaching client, and it was our first introductory phone call, and she asked me a very profound question, which I thought was really awesome, so awesome that I thought it was worth doing a video on. And she asked me, what do your most successful clients have in common? And I thought it was an amazing question, and I would like to shed some light here on this platform about what I think my most successful clients have in common. The number one thing is that they are mentally ready. They want to do this. They have made up their mind. They're not doing it begrudgingly. They're not doing it because they have to or they ought to or somebody else wants to. The most successful clients are doing it because they genuinely want to and they are at a good point in their life where they are mentally ready. I would say the second thing of my most successful clients who have had the most remarkable progress and overall success is that they have a very good support system. I find that my clients who are going through lots of maybe life changes, maybe some people are going through divorces, maybe some people are going through transitions at their job, maybe some people are going through lots of troubles with their family. If you have a lot going on in your personal life where that those areas of your life are unstable, especially emotionally, I find that people are not going to be as successful as those who have a pretty stable environment when it comes to those types of things, as, as well as the support of your significant other. Those who have the support of their significant other tend to be the most successful. Number three, they ask lots of questions. I think some people are afraid to ask questions for fear of sounding stupid, but I think that there's no stupid question. If Even if it's the most blatantly obvious thing, just ask. The thing is, there's nothing wrong with asking. When I was in college or even in previous jobs, like there's nothing wrong with asking a question for clarification. If you don't get it, you don't get it. There's no shame in that and you're only hurting yourself if you don't ask. So nothing wrong with asking lots of questions and nothing wrong with asking questions just for clarification. Even if you already think you know the answer, those who are doing everything they can to make sure that they're doing everything correctly are much more likely to be successful. Um, number four is they plan ahead, plan ahead, plan ahead, plan ahead. I have some clients who are traveling. I have some clients who are flight attendants. I have some clients who um, are always traveling for work. And I had one client a few years ago. She was actually a tour guide and she was traveling all over the world during contest prep. And there was never any place that she was that she was not able to fit her macros and plan and hit her goals, get her workouts in. So it's about planning, you guys. This has to be an intentional goal. This has to be something that you want to do. And number five, I would say having a positive attitude. I'd say that the people who genuinely want this, who have a, you know what, I got this. I can handle this. I, I can do this. Even if it's hard, those people who have the I got this attitude versus the oh man, I don't know, this is this, this is this. Like some people always have something to complain about. If that's you, you most likely are not going to be as successful as somebody who's like, you know what, this is going to be hard, but I can do this. And if I can do this, anybody can do this. Those with that type of attitude are going to be much more successful. And the thing is, if you have not hit that point yet where you have that breakthrough, that mental breakthrough where you decide that your goal for what you want to achieve is more important than any temptation around you. For instance, let's say your coworkers or at your office there's donuts and pizza and this and that or you know at at a family gathering there's all kinds of things. There some people hit a point where like a switch goes off in their mind and they just want their goal so much more than they want those other things and it allows them to have a certain level of focus that they have not had before and once you hit that point it can literally happen it like 
like instantly where you just decide, you know what, I want this more. I don't want to cheat on my meal plan. I do want to do every rep of my workouts. I don't want to skip workouts. I want to get this done because I owe it to myself to see how good I can be if I really try and apply myself 100%. So those who have that mindset where they just want to apply themselves 100%, do their absolute best, those are the people that are going to be the most successful. So if you are in a place where you need to work on some of that and maybe let's say you know you just need a little bit of extra accountability to get there, online coaching would probably be a good option for you. Or if you're just not ready yet, I think there's nothing wrong with being like, you know what, I'm not ready to change yet and doing whatever it is you need to do to get yourself there. There's no shame in saying, this is too much for me to handle. Let me wait until I'm in a better place in my life to approach these goals. That's perfectly fine as well. So I hope you found, this I hope you found these tips helpful. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.